I mean, we've all seen the videos on TV of, of Marlon Fredericks being run down and kicked repeatedly in his face by a gentleman in red that I, they, they say is an is off-duty policeman. And the very next day we found out he shot dead in the back and, and left on the sidewalk to, to, to just die, just breathe, leave his last breath. And I've seen the video and I've heard his mother's screams. Somebody being shot in the back, come through the neck and being charged with manslaughter, that's murder. A handful of protesters converged in front of the City Hall and Regent Street today, each choosing to address their own personal grouse on matters relating to the problems in the city. Don Singh, who labels himself simply as a citizen of Guyana, was very irate. We have a citizen murdered in cold blood by the city constabulary. I mean, when, when did, did the city constabulary, first of all, um, graduate from batons and night sticks to guns? According to Singh, the city constabulary has a whole arsenal of weapons. I mean, there's arsenals in there with M15s and AK-47s, if reports are to believe. Singh also questions the kind of training that the city constables receive. What training do they have? Uh, it, it's, it's a smorgasbord of, 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 of obscenity. We're out there in support of Marlon Fredericks to remind this government that we're not going to just stand here and allow our citizens to be murdered by the uh, officer. Shot down in cold blood, shot in his back. As you know, he was beaten the day before. He's murdered in front of his mother. So we're just here to remind the city hall and the government that we want to see some action. Another protester chose to highlight the alleged sexual assault against a teenage boy who was held for questioning at the city hall outpost. The word is that I'm still calling for the arrest, the investigation, and the arrest of the mayor and the town clerk. They've been protecting, they protected a child rapist for two months, and so far nothing has been done against them. His claim is that the city hall possesses many undesirables and needs to be purged. These two people must be punished. Mayor Patricia Chase Green and town clerk Royston King must be investigated and arrested for harboring and protecting a child rapist. The city hall is a nest of vipers. They need to be cleaned out. There was also a protester assigned to the parking meter saga. He said that he was responsible for highlighting the newly approved parking meter contract. We're here today um, protesting many issues as you can see. I am in charge of protesting against the parking meter. The contract remains illegal, no matter how they sit down and renegotiate, renegotiate it. It's still an illegal contract. This protester noted that the $150 an hour that the city accepted from Smart City Solutions is a trick. He said that the fee will soon be increased. The nonsense with the reduced fee is just um, a way of easing it in back through the back door. I have no doubt that they plan on raising that fee as soon as they get their foot in. So we're back out here to, to say that we're not going to stand for this. Renata Chakasan said that many things brought her to the protest line today. What brought me out here is a number of things. City Council's inability to manage the city properly. City Council's inability to manage the city properly is demonstrated in a number of ways. They make decisions without properly consulting. They make decisions without the, the decisions being evidence-based. Um, parking meters is one issue. And then the issue with this young man who died as a result of being brutalized by the hands of the city police. He escaped. Well, I don't know if he escaped or he didn't escape, but he was shot in the back by a member of the city police. And we have not had an explanation from the chief constable as to what exactly happened. I'm recommending that we review the entire city constabulary, their modus operandi, the, 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 the way they, they are set up, and, and the whole thing. Must, uh, uh, inquiry must be held. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.